Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're keeping well. Today we're gonna to be looking at a device called the A10 UC8000, which looks like this. Now A10 has sent me this device and asked me to do an unboxing, an overview, to tell you what it is and what it can do, as well as a first time setup for first time users. Now, what is this device? It's a podcasting device that has six channels as well as AI functionality. But the most important thing behind this device or the most important element behind this device is that it requires no external power. So this means that it's very portable and you can use it anywhere with the use of a laptop so that if you are doing podcasts in, call it various different locations, you will be able to. Podcasting is not the only functionality of this, which we'll get to a little bit later. But firstly, let's look at the design and the specifications of this device. The dimensions of the device is it's 13 centimeters across by 18 centimeters up and its depth is six centimeters, which you'll be able to see over there. The weight of this is extremely light coming in at 420 grams. Now, if we look at the back side of the device, we can see that we have two XLR connections over there and over there. We have the USB power, which also acts as the interface into a PC, as well as input three, which you're able to connect a cell phone or other device to. On the other side, we have got a two monitoring headset inputs, which are also TRS being number one and number two on the side. Looking at the main interfaces, firstly, we have got an input level, which is on an infinite loop or infinite scroll, which means that this will adjust infinitely, but there is an LED indicator that will show you at what level it is. Right next to that, we have got our mode, but this is for your voice effects. So this will adjust the intensity of your voice effects. Right under Underneath that, we have got our AI Smart EQ, which is activated by holding it in. It will flicker a couple of times and then you'll actually hear your voice change. Right next to that is mute. Then we have our output levels and that is for the laptop or main device and the monitoring headphones. Also, we have got mode as well as duck and you will see that the modes are from pitch, reverb, male and female, which will automatically adjust. Your main tab over here, which is your on-air output, which will actually determine whether the device is outputting to your podcast or not. So if this is not in red, it means that you're not outputting. We have our jingle pad over here, which are programmable as well as the last thing, which is our input switches from mic one, mic two, and your third input. One last important thing to mention is duck. Now what duck will do is as you start to talk, anything that's going on in the background, if you're playing music, will automatically lower its volume to prioritize your voice. So having duck on is extremely important or extremely efficient so that you don't have to worry that if your music is too loud that people won't be able to hear you. So play around with that and you will be able to see how the different channels change. Moving on to some of the features of the device. Firstly, it's not only for podcasting. Yes, that's the major aspect of it, but it's multifaceted. Now you can use this as a musician. You can use this to stream. I've actually tested it on OBS and it works quite well, as well as general voice recording. Next on features, as mentioned before, it is small, form factor. So this means that it can be used as part of a permanent setup or it can be used for easy travel. Again, because it doesn't require any external power to power it. Smart EQ makes this really easy for first time users. So you don't have to be a professional on sound. You can obviously learn as you go along, but really cool feature for you to be able to just plug and play, use a Smart EQ and not have to worry about band adjustments. Secondly, it can be used on both Windows and Mac and the software is easy to use. Now for first time setup and going into the software, the first thing that you need to do is plug it into your PC and we're gonna switch to a video to show you how easy it is to set up the device. Getting started is pretty simple. Go to the browser of your choice as per usual and type in A10 UC8000. Now, once you do that, you will see the A10 official website and the podcast AI audio mixer. Click on that and there will be two things that you need to download by going to the support and downloads tab. Now there is a firmware upgrade as well as the Windows software and driver. So make sure that you download the latest firmware upgrade as well as the latest Windows 10 software. Once these are extracted, make sure that you install on-air audio first, and then you will be able to go into the actual software. Now, the first thing that you wanna do before you get going with anything, you will see that I have set this up already, but I haven't done the firmware upgrade. So the audio might cut, but go to settings and then go to others, 
and then go to update firmware it will look for a bin file so you need to go to where you downloaded the bin file you'll see there there it is uc8000 v1.2.118 click on that and then double click on the bin file now, while that is going, you will see on the actual device itself, on the effects tab, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as well as the audio tab will highlight in red. That means that the firmware is updating with inside the machine itself. Then the device will restart itself and come back to normal. So you will have audio cut. I was actually filming it and then the audio cut. So that is to make sure that the firmware is updated. Now we'll see on the firmware tab, we do have the latest firmware V1.2.118. Now the base basic audio interface, you will plug your first XLR microphone into the first port, your second into the second, depending if you want to have a second, you can have a cell phone or tablet into input three or a laptop into input four, you can mix and match them. But the interface is pretty simple, your effects tab being at the bottom and the ability to adjust your pitch, reverb, male, female, as well as custom. On the settings, you can go to your voice effects and then you will be able to have your custom where you will have your EQ bands and be able to adjust your EQ. EQ bands. Now on the EQ bands, you will have your presets so you can actually save them in to your different white, green, blue, purple, orange, and light blue and fiddle around with all the settings until you find the perfect settings that you like for your podcast. Make sure you apply if you did like the settings that you made changes to. Now you'll see on the output itself, it is picking up mic one as well as the onboard sounds. Now what you'll be able to do is actually monitor them on the output. So I'll keep quiet and play Long Beach. Now, if you wanna set this up in open broadcast software, it is pretty simple. Open your broadcast software and you'll see I've already named this the A10 UC8000. It doesn't pre-name it for you, unfortunately, but what you'll do is you'll go into properties and you'll make sure that the microphone, the USB advanced audio device is selected. You can go in to your main settings in to audio and then have this as your mic auxiliary device one being that. Now, once this is selected, now your device will be able to control your stream directly. So all the effects as well as the mute functions, now being able to touch them on the physical device will affect the stream. So you won't be able to see, but if I mute myself on the actual device, you won't be able to hear me. Now, as you can hear, my voice is extremely soft, but I can increase it on the actual device itself, therefore giving you more control over your voice. So if your stream says, hey, you're a bit too loud, you'll be able to adjust it on the main dial on the actual device. As you see over here, as you adjust the dial on the A10 UC8000, it will increase and decrease without you actually having to use your mouse. Now, this makes it very useful for being able to change things and not having to go to the software, being able to change it on the device itself so you will see that my voice is peaking on the output but you can monitor both the broadcasting software as well as the on air studio software to be able to see what your voice peaking and if it's clipping but it's also good to get your stream or to make sure that you are doing a recording if you're going to do a podcast to make sure okay is my voice clipping i want to lower that to get the perfect sound Time to wrap up. Now, one last point that I want to mention before we wrap up is that if this device is not connected, the software will not work. So as soon as you unplug it, it will ask you to plug it in. But note that you can use the same adjustments on the actual interface as you can on the software. So if you prefer to work on the software, you can do that. Or if you prefer to work on the actual pressing buttons, you can do that. Guys, as this is a tutorial, there are many things that this device can do that I may not have been able to cover today. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out on social media being the preference but if you do you can put a comment in the comment section below and i will get to them as soon as i can really hope you guys enjoyed this look forward to seeing you on the next video cheers and goodbye you can use it as a magic as a magician <laughs> as a musician never mind <laughs> okay Poof. okay